Today we're going to learn how to do the scaphoid shift test or also what's known as a clunk test. A clunk because when the scaphoid shifts in and out of its placement, indicated by a ligament injury, an audible clunk is made. So the first things that you have to keep in mind when you're doing this test is your anatomical starting points. Starting on the dorsal end, you're going to find that scaphoid on the dorsal side, which is indicated by the anatomical snuff box. Anatomical snuff box is cornered in between the EPL, the EPB, and the APB. We're going to place our thumb right over that edge right there. Then on the volar side, we're going to take our index finger. We're going to place our finger right over the scaphoid on the volar section indicate right underneath the CMC, the trapezium, and then the scaphoid you can find right under there. So with our index finger over that scaphoid, our thumb over the scaphoid on the dorsal side in our anatomical snuff box, what we're going to do is we're going to shift, have the patient shift from ulnar deviation, where you'll feel that scaphoid dorsally come up into that snuff box, and then back into radial deviation, where you should feel the scaphoid now coming volarly into your index finger. Going back and forth, if there is a ligament injury between the scaphoid and the lunate, you'll feel an audible clunk, pain, and possibly laxity. Thank you, and that's how you do the scaphoid shift test.